Hey, Enix Sears here, and the question I have for you today is, is the lawn dying? So last week I was in Chicago with my partners. We were running a seminar uh, with a bunch of the architects we work with. And while I was gone, here in beautiful sunny California, our weather changed from this nice spring weather to starting to get into the pretty hot weather. So I live in Central Valley, California, just moved into a new house. And during the summertime, you need to keep your lawn really well watered. Otherwise, it completely dies because it gets brutally hot here. So as I came back from this business trip, I took a look at my lawn and I noticed that there were a couple of dead spots starting to appear in the lawn, one of which is right over here. Now at my old house, we didn't have a lawn, we installed this airscape, we ripped out the lawn, but in this house, because we recently moved here, this is what I inherited, this beautiful oak tree. Uh, the previous owner did a lot of wonderful landscaping here on the lawn, uh, on, in the yard. And then of course, there's this great lawn that I wanna keep up, okay? Now, it'd be very easy for me to ignore the warning signs of the lawn. It'd be very easy for me when I come home just to rush inside, I have a million things on my plate, and to ignore the beginnings of dry spots in the lawn, like I have a couple happening right over here on the lawn. Until one day, until one day I come outside, I look at my lawn, and it has brown spots all over it, and it's starting to die and no amount of watering will bring that back. Then I need to do something more, more uh, intensive, like put in some fertilizer, come and reseed the lawn, and then start from scratch, okay? So what I would have you consider, and how this relates to your architecture firm and your life as an architecture firm owner, is where in your business, where in your firm, are there brown spots in the lawn that you may be ignoring? Where in your firm, are there brown spots that you may be ignoring? Now, the beautiful thing about nature and grass is that within a week I can water this and it's gonna spring right back as if it never happened. Now, on the flip side, if I ignore it for a week, it's gonna start turning brown, it's gonna give me those warning symbols again. Unfortunately, business does not operate that way. We can't always do something today and expect to see the results of that action happen next week or even next month. You see, because the fruits or the lawn, let, let's, let's compare your business to a lawn. Either it's verdant, it's green, it's beautiful, it's the envy of the entire neighborhood, or it has weeds, it has dandelions all over the place, it has dead spots, and you're going crazy because you have so many things to do, you've lost your mind, and your income isn't where you wanna be, you're not able to win the projects you wanna work on, your clients are always fee shopping and not seeing the value that you provide, right? This is the equivalent of having a lawn that's covered in dandelions and dead spots. Now this in a business, this doesn't happen all at once. It happens over years, it happens over decades. And so the trap that you may get into, the trap that we get into as business owners, is we ignore the signs because we're not paying attention to the little tiny things in our business that may be starting to turn brown. We ignore them for a long time until they become a full-blown emergency. So what I have you consider today is where in your business do you need to take some proactive effort? There's a fantastic saying I love which is, by their fruits shall you know them. So I was talking with a buddy of mine, he's a contractor, general contractor, and we were sitting down in church just a couple of days ago. And I shared with him kind of a breakthrough I had last week about this concept of by their fruits you shall know them, right? So we can look at other people and we can see their fruits, but how often do we take a look at the fruits within our own life and within our own business? So everything we have that surrounds us, whether it's our car, whether it's our house, whether it's our business, whether it's the free time we have, the amount of time we're able to spend with our kids, the health and the fitness that we have or we don't have, the relationship we have with our wife and our children, all of these are the fruits that we're experiencing today of something that we did in the past, specific actions that we took, maybe a year ago, maybe 10 years ago, maybe 50 years ago. Okay. Now, of course, some things in life we can't control, right? If we come down with cancer, this may or not be due to something we did. Sometimes, you know, we, we get into a car accident with someone, maybe we didn't have a whole lot of control in that situation. But in our business, most of the things in this game of business are within your control. Okay? They're not always going to turn out like we want, but they are in your sphere of influence. You have the ability to take some actions today and see those fruits three months from now, six months from now, a year from now, two years from now. And so as business owners, we lose the perspective. We lose this perspective of the fruits. So we can look at the fruits around us right now, and, and my contractor friend that I was talking to, he had insight. He's just like, wow, I mean, I've known this concept, but I never really thought about that. When I look at my life right now, the fact that my business has poor cash flow, when I look at the fact that my relationship with my wife isn't where I'd like it to be, I realize that I'm feeling like a victim here. 
However, each one of these things is due to things that I did or didn't do in the past. Now, it may be things in such the distant past that I don't even remember that they happened. And this is where the analogy of the lawn and the business breaks down because business is a game of two years, five years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 30 years. I hear that the Japanese make, and the, the Japanese or maybe the Chinese, they make 100 year business plans, right? Whereas, of course, with my lawn, I can see an immediate result. So, what I would encourage you to do is not wait until your lawn disappears and your lawn turns ugly with dandelions, but right now, figure out where does it need the fertilizer. And the way you do that is by starting to track your metrics in your business. Understanding what are the numbers that speak to you about your business? What are the signs and the symptoms? What is the equivalent of a dead spot? So that after you identify that dead spot, you can come through, you can hook up the equivalent of a little sprinkler here, and you can make sure that your lawn will be green and beautiful for years to come. Now, if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe, click like, let me know your thoughts, and as always, Carpe DM. Seize today. Bye for now.